Hi, my name is Ajay Nair. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at uh, Iowa State University. And today, uh, what I want to show you are a couple of uh, summer cover crop options. Uh, our uh, lab uh, and the research and extension program focuses a lot on integrating short uh, duration summer cover crops for vegetable crop production. Uh, we are uh, at one of the sites. Uh, this site was uh, established as part of the SARE Professional Development Grant Program and we are trying to train and uh, growers and uh, also the extension people to come here at the plot and take a look at the cover crop. Uh, the cover crop right behind me, today's uh, featured cover crop is sorghum sudan grass and you could see uh, it's, it's quite tall. Uh, uh, I'm about 5 feet 5 inches and this might be 7 feet tall. <laughs> But uh, to tell you a little bit about this cover crop, uh, it's a cross between sorghum and the Sudan grass, a fast growing cover crop uh, from seeding to almost, uh, in, in almost 60 days, you can generate a quite, quite a lot of uh, biomass. Uh, generally, the biomass ranges between uh, 8,000 pounds to 10,000 pounds per acre, and that's dry weight. So that's the amount of biomass you can add. add it adds organic matter uh, to the soil, and again, for growers, who need a quick turnaround with a cover crop between 50 and 60 days, this is a suitable option. So if you look at this crop, uh, this sorghum sudan grass uh, patch was seeded uh, in the first week of August and today is uh, October 16th, about two and a half months and you could see the amount of biomass it has generated. Uh, in addition to the biomass which sorghum sudan grass generates, it also acts as a great uh, a weed suppressing tool. So if you want to walk with me inside this plot and we'll try to see how the, the ground looks like within it, you could absolutely see no weeds in there. This is clean and, and nice brown soil in there. This uh, smothers the weed, doesn't allow the light go in there and you can see the amount of biomass too. So excellent source of weed uh, uh, management tool, excellent weed management tool for the growers. We are, uh, I'll show you another plot just next to it and uh, you could see the amount of weeds in this plot. We have a lot of red root pigweed and other grasses in there. Uh, so as compared to this plot here, quite a messy and a weedy plot. If you compare that with the sorghum sudan grass here, uh, I think uh, this uh, is a great tool for, the gro for, uh, for a grower, for a vegetable grower. We seeded the sorghum sudan grass at a rate of pounds per acre and we did not mow it uh, generally it is mowed when once it reaches about two feet height uh, growers can go and mow it and it will come back with a vengeance uh, and you can keep mowing it about two or three times and that way you add a lot of organic matter to the soil uh, and also uh, helps to suppress weeds uh, so this was the uh, short video on sorghum sudan grass we'll be posting more videos uh, part of this project on other cover crops too. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Again, my name is Ajay Nair and uh, I'm an assistant professor in, uh, in the horticulture department at Iowa State and work with sustainable vegetable production program. Thank you very much.